Tonight we're hearing from the author and publisher of a controversial article about Islam. The article called Terrorism Fear Doesn't Stop Mississippians was published last month. Today a local Muslim group met to oppose comments made about their faith. WTV 12 Shay O'Connor joins us now in the studio with the story. Shay. Melanie Byron, now the article was written by Jackson resident Wyatt Emmerich and was published August 30th in the Northside Sun. It compares Christianity to Islam. Emmerich bases his argument on concepts by author Salman Rushdie. Rushdie wrote a book about his views towards the Islamic faith in 1988. That book caused the government of Iran to issue a fatwa, or a calling for his immediate execution. He came and spoke at the Mississippi Book Festival and spoke at the Galloway Methodist Church. Uh, and it was a packed crowd, standing room only. Uh, that's an interesting story. 30 years after Rushdie's novel, The Satanic Verses, there's a fatwa in place in Iran calling for the author's immediate execution. Emmerich says that in itself shows the mentality of Islam. Thousands of people every month are being killed uh, through terrorist bombings, you know, and, uh, and uh, Islamic fanaticism. So the bloodshed is ongoing, and that's what I was referring to, what's, what's happening uh, all the time. I mean, uh, in Egypt, Christian churches are being bombed. Uh, Christians are being persecuted. I mean, this is going on. This is a real battle. Um, this is nothing new. Members of the Islamic Thought Temple and the International Museum of Muslim Cultures say they want no part in the accusations made about their way of life. Islam, uh, just like the Western worldview, mm -hmm. then there's an Islamic worldview. There's Islamic thought, like Western thought. And religion is just one aspect of it. Both groups met today to discuss Emmerich's article. Members say many of the statements were not only offensive to the Islamic way of life, but they were also untrue. And he ended it with, there are no Muslim partners for peace. And then he made the prediction that until Christians understand the threat of Muslims, he predicted that there would be bloodshed. And it was an unfortunate statement to make when Muslims all over the United States have been working feverishly to be a part of the country. Merrick says he did not see an email in time to attend the meeting today. Now, the IMMC conference will, be glint, will begin September 6th and will offer insight on what it means to be of Islamic faith. Visit our website for those details. Now, let's turn things over to weather.